हरियाणा पावर जेनरेशन कॉर्पोरेशन लिमिटेड वेलकम्स यू टू हरियाणा हरियाणा पावर जेनरेशन कॉर्पोरेशन लिमिटेड और एच पी जी सी एल वॉज इनकॉपोरेटेड इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स विद द विजन ऑफ इंप्लीमेंटिंग ऑफ पावर रिफॉर्म्स इन द स्टेट ऑफ हरियाणा The main objective of the HPGCL is to generate power in the state of Haryana from the existing generating stations in the most efficient manner and to set up new power projects in the state sector. HPGCL generates a total of 1587.4 megawatts from its plants at Panipat and Faridabad. Despite its best efforts, the gap between demand and supply of electricity has been growing. In its endeavor to bridge the gap between demand and availability of power, the Haryana government accorded its administrative approval to award the turnkey implementation of 1200 megawatts Hisar Thermal Power Project to Reliance Energy Limited. Located about 220 kilometers from Delhi, we are fast approaching the site of the 2 into 600 1200 megawatt Hisar thermal power project, which will be constructed by Reliance Energy Limited. This is the first project in the northern region to be awarded mega project status. A project of this magnitude takes between 39 and 42 months for commissioning. However, for Hisar project. REL has envisaged an aggressive commissioning schedule of between 35 and 38 months which is the shortest commissioning schedule in the country for such large capacity projects we are now at the gate of the thermal power plant in hisar let us take a quick look at the power plant You can see the state of the land as of now. This barren salt pan area will be transformed into a virtual island of greenery by creating a green belt around the power station site. This is the powerhouse of the plant. It houses the turbine and the generator, the key equipments in the generation of power. The boiler is used for boiling the water to be converted into superheated steam, which is further used in the generation process. The state of the art electrostatic precipitators will be operational to remove fine particulate matter such as dust from the flue gases. A tall chimney with a height of 275 meters will be erected to diminish the impact of the exhausts by releasing them high into the atmosphere for better dispersion. ash produced as part of the generation process will be used for brick making which will be further utilized for road building as manure in agricultural activities landfills construction activities and bricks the power generated at the plant will be distributed across the state through this switchyard
This is the administrative block. Fire station at the power plant makes sure that emergencies can be handled immediately. Let us now take you through the power generation process at the thermal power plant in Hisar. First, coal is used for boiling the water in a boiler where water is converted to superheated steam. This superheated steam is fed to the steam turbine. The turbine works as a rotary engine that extracts energy from a fluid flow. The fluid, which is the superheated steam, acts as an intermediate energy carrier. This way, the heat energy is converted to mechanical energy. The turbine, in turn, rotates the directly coupled rotor of the generator. The electrical generator is a device that produces electrical energy from a mechanical energy source using electromagnetic induction. Inside the generator, the mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy and the electric power is generated. This electric power is then taken to the transformer where the voltage of this electrical energy is stepped up for transmission. The power generation process will ensure that there will be minimum emissions causing no harm to the surrounding community. Once the project starts generating power, an additional 288 lakh units would be available to the state. It would cater to more than 4.4 lakh consumers which constitute 11% of the existing consumers. 